It's Halloween time, and I'm gonna share with you where I find the best science product for the Halloween season. And it happens to be at the grocery store. Come on, let's go get it. As Chemical Kim, I'm a chemistry professor and science education influencer with over a million followers on social media platforms. I am very excited to bring my fun and exciting science experiments to all of you. I know we will have lots of fun in experimenting and learning cool things in science together. So this is it. This is dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide. And it's my favorite Halloween science to find at the grocery store. When you open it up, you have to be careful because on the cover, once you open that cover, the gas is gonna come out. So I tend to not breathe too much when I open this up for the first time. So dry ice is sold by the pound. So if you wanna save and just get a small sample, and definitely a small chunk is going to be enough. And usually, find a bag that just has a few pieces in there. So you won't have to pay as much as you would for a larger chunk. But of course, I'm Chemical Kim, so I'm gonna get the biggest piece I can find inside this chest to do some fantastic Halloween science. So when handling dry ice, it's extremely important to wear gloves because dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide, is at negative 79 degrees Celsius or negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. That's extremely cold. I always try and bring a sort of cooler bag because you know this is going through sublimation, which is a change from a solid to a gas, and it does it very quickly, especially in the atmosphere I am, which is Florida. So I'm going to keep it in a stored cooler bag until I get home to do my science experiments. So you bring the dry ice home. So my trick is to take the dry ice and put it into a towel and then just take a hammer and a good little whack. And there you go, you have your nice piece of dry ice, depending on the size. So that's a really good way to break up the dry ice and then store it when you're ready to use it. Warm water. So what I do with the dry ice, a little trick is to use a basket some chunks of the dry ice into the basket, and then I drop it into my warm water. And of course you have the wonderful fog effect. So the reason I like to use a basket is that when you put dry ice in water, what will happen is that the water will start to freeze around your dry ice. The basket allows my dry ice to stay without having that freezing effect with the water. So I would just change the water and I can still have my dry ice present to keep that sublimation occurring. So that's my suggestion for making some really cool dry ice effect and keeping that going. Ooh, my witch's brew right here. And of course, this isn't smoke. What you're seeing is fog and that's just due to the water vapor and that dry ice so cold and that bubbling, the bubbling you hear, that's, that is the dry ice going through sublimation. So going from a solid to a gas and skipping the liquid state. Well, it's Halloween and that means bringing out the ghosts. I'm gonna add the water and I do use warm water and just soap. I'm making a bubble solution. Just simply water, and dish soap. I'm gonna let you see the fog that comes out when I combine the dry ice with the water. Ready? Here we go. That is how I'm going to trap my ghost egg. So ready? Here we go. I'm gonna take now the fog that's coming out and I'm gonna trap it inside a bubble. And this is the tricky part. So what I do is I just simply dip the funnel into the dish soap and here we go. That's it. There's my ghost eggs. And you see when they land on the table, the ghosts come out, they're hatched. The trick though is trying to capture the ghost. Can I, tr can I capture the ghost? So I'll give that a try, but let's just make some ghost eggs right now. Oh, 
Oh, that was that was close. Here we go. Let's. There we. There it is. There it is. I have captured a ghost inside the egg. I don't know. I got one. Okay, now I'm gonna let this one land on that one. Oh, he hatched. <laughs> it hatched the ghost egg. Ready? Okay, we're gonna. Oh. Okay. We're gonna. Okay, here's one that does not hatch. Now, oh, it hatched. Okay, here's one that's not hatching. Okay, and then we're gonna let this one hatch the other one. Letting the ghost out. So there's your ghost eggs for Halloween. So I'm gonna make some Halloween wine, Chemical Kim style. It just simply involves some warm water, which I'm gonna put into my wine bottle. Dry ice. So this is solid carbon dioxide. And solid carbon dioxide, you can see, undergoes what's called sublimation. And when it hits the water, it warms up really quickly, grabs onto the water, and creates the water vapor that you see coming out of my wine bottle now. And that is what I'm gonna pour into my wine glass because the unique property of this is that it is heavier than the atmospheric gases. So I can actually pour that fog and the carbon dioxide into my wine glass. Ready for this? Cheers. <laughs> I have to. I, I have to try another glass. Here we go. Pour a little bit of. Maybe I need to add a little bit more dry ice, a little carbon dioxide. You know, some people like a, a high concentration of carbon dioxide versus water vapor. You do your ratio. Here we go. Okay, pour it into my wine glass. I gotta empty out the wine glass. I like a clean wine glass. And then look how it just leaps into my wine glass. Look at that. I have enough for a big party of people. Everyone can have a toast with Chemical Kim's Halloween wine. Cheers. Ah, delicious. <laughs> Good stuff. But most important is that unique property of how it just falls right into the wine glass. And yeah, it's, it's basically fog in a wine glass. You have carbon dioxide and water vapor. Now another glass. And you can never over pour, which is really cool, but definitely the unique properties is the fact that that is heavier than atmospheric gases. So you can see how you can pour it into a wine glass. Cheers. Making a crystal ball. So I'm gonna take some warm water and you can add food coloring if you want. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of green food coloring. So I'm making a bubble solution right there dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide. When you put it in water, it does a phase change from solid to gas, and that's sublimation. So I'm gonna try and make a crystal ball this Halloween season. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel, you could use just a, a regular cloth, piece of cloth, and dip it into my bubble solution. Okay. And here we go. Let's see if this is gonna work. See if I can make a crystal ball. <gasps> there we go. Watch it grow. There we go. And that makes for some really cool Halloween science with dry ice and water and bubble solution.
Okay, it's time to grow a hand. Solid carbon dioxide. I'm just gonna put that into the glove and then seal it up. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's already starting to fill up. So this glove is filling up with carbon dioxide gas. That chunk of dry ice that I put in there is going from a solid to a gas. And as we know, gas occupies more space than a solid. So you can see how it's expanding the glove. Let's see how, how, how big, oh, I can really feel it filling up. I just grew a hand with solid carbon dioxide. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Walk around like you have a friend. Look how, how big it's expanded. We're just gonna let it expand. Oh, well, it'll pop if it, if it expands enough. Look how big it is now on this trap. Oh, what's really cool is too, I don't know if you can see that, but look, see how the fog and the dry ice is inside. So the question is, is the fog coming through the glove or is it because there's water on the outside of the glove that's creating that fog? Hmm. My hand has grown beyond a hand. Now it's becoming a balloon. But I still have my piece of dry ice that's still undergoing sublimation inside my balloon. And you can see the water vapor on the outside when it touches where the dry ice comes into contact, it turns into fog. So just take a simple glass container, a piece of solid carbon dioxide, which is dry ice. Ready? Do you hear that? No, 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 look at this, look, look. Do you see it? It kind of looks angry. Why? Why does that happen when I put the dry ice into glass? Well, because dry ice undergoes sublimation, which means it's going from a solid to a gas. So when it hits the side of the glass, it wants to let that gas escape because the glass is warm, but also the dry ice is a solid, so it's trapping the gas between the glass and the dry ice itself. And it gets mad. And of course, just taking a bigger piece, that water is hitting that cold dry ice and creating the fog. So you don't use all of the dry ice and you're thinking about storing it in your freezer overnight. Well, your freezer is over a hundred degrees warmer than this dry ice. So chances are you're gonna open up your freezer the next day and just find gaseous carbon dioxide.